the Rustico Voyager wallet. This, wait, oh baby, man, this leather is so fantastic. You just gotta keep watching. Welcome to Wallatopia. Please ring the bell, subscribe. Go to wallatopia.info to register for drawings of wallets we give away every other week. Now, let's open up the Rustico Voyager Bifold Wallet. Well, I love these bags, the, these come in. So let's, let's get down and look at this. All right. This is a nice, heavy bag here. Nice branding on this. We open this up. This is our wallet. This color is stone. It's got a nice grommet down here at the bottom. And this is a machine stitched. They have an option for a hand stitched. We'll talk about that. There is the info card here, which is great. All right. This is interesting because it, uh, it's got a short side and a long side here. Let's take a look at the features of the Rustico Voyager wallet. As you can see from the interior, we have two slots. On the exterior, we don't have anything out there by way of feature sets. So on the interior, on this right hand side, this is where we have our card slot. We have the quick thumb access here. Looks to be, you know, two, three, four, some odd cards here. On the left side, it's kind of the short side. And you can see how this folds right here in the middle. And that provides us the closed wallet. Now, this is uh, available for cash or cards. And we will see how that works. So that are the feature, that is the features of the Rustico Voyager wallet. Let's run through the card and cash insertion test. You can tell from the test it handled five cards. I'm sure you can get six in there, uh, four on the long side, but you'd need to break it in a little bit more. The short side held two cards easily, uh, or you know I had five slips of cash, and they're folded over only once, which is really nice. The company makes no recommendations on how many cards or cash you can carry in the wallet, so it's fully up to you to decide your, its usage and really the break-in period for this. On quality, this is a full-grain leather. Oh, baby, and this is veg tan. It smells awesome. I can sit here and smell, hold on, yeah, I can sit here and smell this thing all day long. It's a thicker cut, it's about two millimeters, but the patina will develop beautifully. It's machine stitched, but there's also a hand stitch option you can order uh, when you purchase this wallet, and so that's really nice to know. Now the difference between hand versus machine stitching is is an interesting uh, study. So basically, when you use a machine, that line of stitching requires two separate threads that lock around each other in what is known as a locking stitch. Whereas a hand stitch uses line uh, of a line is a single thread using needles on either end. Now the thread runs back and forth either on either side of the leather, what's called a running stitch. Now the hand stitching piece that uses the running stitch provides a stronger and more durable construction than the machine sewn piece that uses the locking stitch. If a thread were to snap on a piece that uses a sewing machine, the entire line of thread could potentially unravel, allowing the two pieces of leather to separate. However, in a hand stitch piece, the thread will not unravel and the leather pieces will not separate from each other, and more importantly, makes it easier to repair. Now, that's one reason why hand stitch wallets cost more. It's more time intensive, but the quality is superior to machine stitching. And uh, you can create some very impressive stitch designs. In the future here, I'll show you some neat, neat wallets. Now, it has a rough edge, natural edge to it. It's not burnished or painted. We look at this overhead, we can get a good look at that here, uh, which is fine. This is uh, just beautiful in how it looks here. The pricing is only $34. That's an excellent price for the quality with it being made in the USA from locally sourced leather. Util uh, usability wise, the only complaint is this rustic grommet here. You may have noticed in the card insertion test that I was having a hard time getting cards put in here. I'm going to show you right now how this kind of works. If you try and put this in here like this, it it catches right there. And uh, I, I imagine it will get better in the break-in period, but, uh, but I question whether it could continue to catch on cards. So I'd probably put cash in that side instead. Now the measurements are 3.2 inches wide by 4.25 inches long and 0.4 inches thin. The company continues to innovate with leather products and continues to expand its product line. Neat little company. So let's get into the final score. For quality, it's a four. For price, a five. Features a three, usability a three, and finally perception a three. And that gives us a final score of 3.7 out of five, 
or 37 out of 50. Thanks for joining us. We hope you enjoyed the review. We'll talk to you soon. Please subscribe, ring the bell. Let us know what you think. Thanks, bye.